Well, hey everybody and welcome back. Right. Well, after my last video about Boris getting Me Too'd, well, his own version of the Me Too, Sajid David has come out um, on the Telegraph, on the Telegraph channel, and has defended Boris. So we're just going to have a quick look at that and then see where that takes us. So let's just dive right in. The Prime Minister, first of all, as you say, it's an allegation. That's what it is. It's a personal allegation. The Prime Minister... Matt, Hanc Matt Hancock the, the, said she's, she's the, trustworthy. The... Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to have to stop that right there because simply he just jumps right over the top of him when he says, well, what's in that? first of all, it's an allegation and it's a private matter. But this is how they frame things. Because he just jumps straight in and said, well, this Matt guy says she's totally trustworthy. Right? He just jumps all over him, right? But let's go back in and see. But this is what they, this is what they do in the news these days, they jump all over you when you start to defend properly and give eloqu eloquent answers and well-reasoned answers to things. But anyway, let's carry on. The, the Prime Minister has said that it is completely untrue and of course I absolutely trust the Prime Minister but I'm not going to draw on, on on the nature of the allegation what you know, and all of that because I, you know, it's not something that I should really be sort of talking about. It would be inappropriate. These are personal allegations and, and you know, sadly these kinds of allegations, they, they, they do happen and, uh, and, and it's not right for me to get drawn into them. We're getting... Well said, my friend. But how, did you notice the little cut there? Right? I wonder what else he said. But I agree wholeheartedly that it is not our place to comment on it because it is a personal matter. And just because of when it is, how long ago it happened and the timing, it just seems a little bit too suspect for me. I, again, I think this is all bullshit, and I think that Charlotte Edwards is either misremembering, if you want to be conservative with a way of saying it, or in my opinion, outright fucking lying, or misconstruing what actually happened. But anyway, it goes on a little bit more, let's continue, and then we'll talk. Get drawn into them. We're getting on with governing this country. And there is so much to do, and Brexit is clearly one of those big things, but there is so much to do in so many other areas. You know, our schools, fighting crime, you know, our health service, investment in roads and rail and fibre, all these things. This is, people, you know, this is what they want to see delivery on, and that's what I'm focused on. Now, Boris Johnson is the Prime Minister of this country, and I'm very happy to be in his cabinet, working with him side by side, delivering on the people's priorities. Well, that kind of says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, Sajid David there, um, saying he supports the Prime Minister. They've got all these things in the pipeline. Get it, Brexit done is the first part. Get that done and get everything else sorted along with it. They had another interesting jump cut in there. I wonder what they cut out there again, but there's a telegraph, so it's probably something vitally important. But it'll go against their narrative. So, anyway, that's that. See, Sajid David is a fantastic example of the can't really say anything against them. It's like um, black conservatives in the US, you know what I mean? It's, they call them all these horrible things, right? But it's a case that they are the, they are the racist ones. Um, but don't worry, oh, I've got a story coming up sort of shortly, which is hitting a bit closer to home than I would like. So, uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, don't be shy now. Let me let me know what you think about the whole border situation, whether, again, I, I think it's far too convenient. But anyway, thanks very much for watching and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one.